Okay, here's a 747. And so what happens is the 747, in order to test its brakes, uh, it accelerates to takeoff speed and then says, no, wait, I don't want to take off. Sometimes that happens. You know, when they change your mind at the last possible minute. And normally what will happen is there'll be reverse thrusters to slow the thing down along with the brakes. But worst case scenario, what if you can only do the brakes? And so they have to test that. So here is the 747 going at takeoff speed. And then here is the 747 stop. Okay. So uh, it has kinetic energy here. It doesn't have any kinetic energy right here. So the question is, well, where, what happened to that kinetic energy? Um, well, clearly energy is still conserved, so something has to increase in energy. In this case, the brakes get really hot. Uh, so the question is, how hot do those brakes get? Okay, so let's just look at this from a, a, a basic standpoint. Let me say uh, this is the takeoff speed, V1 equals some value, which I wrote down here. Because I don't know how it is. 200 miles, it's 89.4 meters per second. And I also know that it stops in a certain amount of distance, um, but at 200 meters, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I also know the mass of the plane. I'll put mass of the plane. It's 450,000 kilograms. plus your 10 kilogram bag or whatever it is. Um, okay. So, and the final velocity, V2, is zero. So, we can write down, let's say that the plane has internal energy in terms of thermal energy. So, but the system is just a plane. So, work is a change in kinetic plus change in thermal energy. And there's no force of doing work on the plane. So this is zero equals K2 minus K1 plus E, I'll just put this as delta E thermal. So since I'm not doing any work done, I don't really care about the distance. I just need the change in kinetic energy and use that to solve for the change in thermal energy. Delta E thermal equals, um, well, K2 is zero. So it's just gonna be K1, one half mass of plane V1 squared. Now, the change in thermal energy is going to be mass of the brakes, okay? The brake pads are the ones that heat up. The specific heat capacity of the brake pads, the change in temperature of the brake pads. And I really want to find the change in temperature. So delta T equals, I'll just solve for this, mass of the plane, V1 squared, over mass of the brakes, the specific heat, and there's two. Now, I also said that there's also, there is work done. This really should be um, maybe Q plus W. Since the brakes get hot, there is some energy transferred to the surroundings. I mean, because it's hotter than everything else. So I said that um, the amount of change transfer is about, I just guessed, 30%. So that uh, this is only going to be 70% of the change in kinetic energy. So I multiply this by 0.7. So now all I have to do is put in the mass of the plane. I got that. The mass of the brakes and the specific heat of the brakes. I didn't write that down, but I gave you those numbers online. So um, you just put those in. They get really hot. If you there's a video online that shows us that the plane stops and the brake pads were just glowing red. They're so hot. It's pretty awesome.